वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू बी टाइट एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द एच कैप इंटीग्रेशन किट सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी क्रिएटिंग डिप्लॉयमेंट्स थ्रू ए पी आई इज एंड नॉट लाइक द वन इन द लास्ट वीडियो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिप्लॉय दिस अवर मैनुअली फ्रॉम द एच कैप डैशबोर्ड बट इन दिस वन इट्स मोर ऑफ यू क्रिएट द सर्वर फ्रॉम द गेम now this is useful in cases where you have a lobby and you want to move that complete lobby to a session or um basically a find a join session type structure now in this one we will only be creating a deployment not finding deployments and um joining but it's pretty same i will add a link to the code in the description in case you want to use the find edge cap deployments and join that way but the structure is the same so um you need to create a deployment in the same way that we have done here the matchmaker video is the next one that said let's get it started if you haven't consider subscribing because it helps us a lot like um not help us monetarily but will help us uh, motivationally I, i don't know what i said but let's get started So the first thing that we need to do is create a new map for the main menu. This will be the map that will be used for the three part series that is after this. And then um I I will just be naming it main menu and saving it here. And then we will be creating a widget. Um you can create a new folder named widgets or whatever you want to uh, name it. You can just create a new widget for the main menu. I usually forget it's in blueprints or user interface I just get confused um so yeah user interface select the widget type to be the user widget and just name it to maybe wbp uh, like the starting name and wbp underscore main menu or something like that now open up the um widget and I will just fast forward it just a button has to be added for request deployment this button when whenever pressed will be requesting an a like will be calling an api to hcap to run a server and return the ip address to you so it's a three part process whereas where in the first part you will be making a request to request the server the second part would be to get the status of the server and the third part when the server is deployed you join it just waiting for the ui to finish it's not that long i just add a button for request deployment and that's it you can skip over so let's go to the on pressed and add our further functionalities the first thing that we need to do is request a deployment so we will be calling get or request deployment a create deployment so create deployment basically will create a dedicated server on hcap's backend and you need to pass very basic information and you have a lot of fields that you could um pass more for better values so the first thing is the application name so we'll just pass that here and then the version name which we created in the last video we pushed it at that time just copy that um version name this is usually the time stamp uh egik Uh, throws a timestamp for you so it's easier to manage builds so just that's the version name for you and you have a lot of settings um, but we won't be playing with much the settings we are going to play with are the ip addresses because edgecap has a pretty huge network of servers so we need to get the server closest to us so we can get the public ip of the user um, or of ourselves and then pass it to the user ip section if you are using a steam i will suggest to wait for the fourth part of the series and if it's already released check that because steam has their own method to get the ip address and it's better to use that because um or else i think you can get into troubles because steam has a privacy policy or something like that i don't don't take my words on that but something similar to something similar happens so you can just pass the ip address of the creator and if you have a lobby or something like that you can pass for all the players so you have a very close server um like latency is low for everyone or at least edge cap will try to have a low latency for everyone and then um when the deployment is created we need to wait for the deployment to be um deployed so basically it takes around 80 seconds to deploy in case it's not cached if it's cached it will be around 2 to 3 seconds but we cannot take chance we need to create a timer 
so set timer by event let's just give it a one second timer and loop so every one second we will check if the server is created or not so check deployment timer and then here we will call get deployment status and info the request id is given through the create deployment function and then when we have that value we can print a string on the error like this and in the get deployment we will break it we will check if the server is running now if the server is up and running this running will be true so we will check if it is running and if that is the case we will basically disable the timer so okay something is wrong um one sec we need to disable the timer but we have not made a timer handle no worries we need the fqdn and we also need the ports yeah i think we need these two to the to connect to the server and before that let's make a timer handle you can make it a uh, check deployment handle and then if it's true basically the server is running we will clear the timer so it does not run anymore and when that is done we will try connecting to the server now i just made the timer to to be on a safer side that it gets the time but uh, normally edge gaps up like uh, suggests that the timer is set to one now on the open level we will just append the ip and the port so ip is given in the fqdn and add a semicolon and pass in the port info normally you can just part the first external port but if you have multiple ports you can use this ports array this is again passed on the edge caps portal so you can modify the port name and stuff but for now we will just be getting the first port and using that so external is something you need to use the external port internal will be 7777 but it will be mapped to an external port which you need to use and this should work now you should be connecting to the server pretty well but if you want you can just verify the ports using the um, you can get all the keys and print the values of the keys if you want um, i will remove it of course but let's make it just to show that this is comparable from what you see on the edge caps portal and print that's it let's give it a try um everything looks good okay okay we are on the wrong map um we need to add the widgets too so let's go to the right map and on the level blueprint we, on even begin play we will just add the widget to the screen so create widget and wb main main menu and add it to viewport when that is done we need to basically um turn on the mouse and like show the mouse to the user and also set the input mode to ui only and you can pass in the widget reference if you want but uh, yeah that is something that you want now the next thing we need to do is in the third person map because if we do it now we won't be able to control our character we need it um, we need to disable um the mouse and then also oh sorry disable the show mouse cursor and also set the input mode to game only and this should be good let's play request deployment uh something is wrong okay so yeah widget focus should be the widget itself here let me play as one and request deployment so it's finding and it found see it found the game port that was the only single port that i added in the last video if you remember and it's trying to connect to it it's still trying to find basically hmm okay now it's opening up the level so let's go and check the deployments uh yeah so this is the servers and i am on the server again the issue that we are on the blacklist server is because we did not rebuild the server um after we added 
now on the second client too if we do we will be joining a new server now um, we can even find deployments in the same way that we created deployments so i will show a blueprint for that pretty quick um, on the screen but uh, we will be covering it in detail after this team integration kits video that said thanks a lot for watching this video you can see the server is pretty near to me i mean it's in mumbai and i'm in near delhi so it's pretty near and just took four, under four seconds to deploy the server um, so active caching is a pretty good thing um, and i suggest you can turn it on for all the builds that said uh, meet you in the next one coming pretty soon you can delete um, the ports printing thing that if you want and bye